Stay tantalized. Stay tantalized, Ruddy. Tantalize. Stay tantalizing. 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 There it is. <clears throat> ah, ah, ah. Let me say this the first time at 10,000. <clears throat> What's up, everybody? It's me, your boy, Mr. 10,000, Tantalizing Tony. Listen, we did it. We got here. It was a struggle. It was not easy. It was a lot of work, a lot of blood, a lot of sweat, a lot of tears, because <laughs> I cry every day. But let me just say this to you guys as Kira tries to get us on Instagram. Of course, the 10,000, of course, our 10,000 subscribers show. Why would anything run right? Everything is just like normal. Out of whack. So we got a few, a few guests tonight. Um, Kira usually does the uh the uh, intro, but the um the, the what do you call it, Kira? Roll call. The roll call, and we lost Blackwell. So um we'll get him back in a second. Anyway, let's say hello to everybody. Everbless, good evening. Mr. Packers, what's up? Mick, what's up? Fresh take, Bakey, Jakey, Bakey, my dude. Pastor, I acknowledge you. Nick, what's up, Nick? He was here from the beginning, yes. I, yeah, right? Thank you, Nick. Appreciate you. LJ Benoit, hope you're not related to Chris. Um, Thank you for the Super Chat, Smoke Man Joe. $20, I appreciate that. We will take care of that Super Chat in a minute. Hassan, what's up? Anthony Blackwell will be here. <laughs> Hello, the lovely Jen. Hello, sweet Lorraine. Hello, Thomas Gardner, who's been here from the beginning, too. Very much in the beginning. Um, who else is here? Dion, what's up, man? Um, Clay Lewis, what's up? Mike D. Jasmine, of course. Anthony Linetti. Mr. Zubin. Dahlia, thank you. Everybody's here. All right, so look. Um, we're waiting on a few people, but we got a jam-packed room tonight. Um, you sent one to Ruta too, right? Message him, see if he could jump in. Message Ricky again. So let's start this way, okay? We're going to start with Coles, and you cannot smoke on camera. Just so you know. Um, you will get me my 10,000 subscribers banned. <laughs> All right, so there's a lot of people in the waiting room. Some people are coming later, so in the store. So Triple R hopefully is on his way. Um, well, let's get one of the other co-hosts that helped me get to 10,000. Now, you guys know this guy as ABJ. We've had our ups and our downs. We've had rivalries. We were tag team partners. We broke up. We were like Shawn Michaels. I guess I was Mario Gennetti. No, because I can uh, both my feet work, so I'm not Mario Gennetti. But uh, we, we know that, listen, this guy, Anthony Blackwood Jr., is a very talented content creator. Believe it or not, he taught me a lot about the equipment, sound, how we should do things. Listen, he can't give me my je ne sais quoi, but he gave me the technical aspects of a lot of things. And our channel has definitely thrived because of his technical prowess. So without further ado, I'll give you the one and only Anthony Blackwell Jr., also known as Everybody Loves A.B.J. What's going on? Tantalizing family, tantalizing nation. N.K. It's been done. We've done it. We've done it. And listen, thank you last night. For first time on your show. Thank yeah. you so much. With Dylan as well. Dylan was there, and he Dylan's a good kid. I love that. Dylan Dylan might have coined a T-shirt with that, the BJ shirt. Nice. Nice. Yeah, I like it. I like it. B as so in let like me, a buzz. I got you. B. Yeah, yeah. Buzz. So let me ask you a question, and everybody's got to be patient until we call you guys in. This is going to be a little while. So, Anthony, let me ask you a question. What's your first impressions? And we'll get to these kids later as well as – um. oh, wait. Le yes, Loria. Um, I need him to get. I need him for an invite if he can get in. Send him one real quick, Paul. I need you for Paul. I didn't. This was impromptu, but um, I need you in here. So we're gonna send you an invite real quick. Just jump in for a quick second. Um, hopefully I remember your email address. What is it? I think it's P. Yeah, there it is. Paul, jump in if you can, because I know you don't have a lot of time. I know your time is really um precious, but jump in please if you can. In the meantime, Blackwell, first time you met me, what was your impression? Honestly, tell the truth. And you don't, um, you, one, thing, one thing about you is you don't lie. So I, I remember seeing your channel, and then we met for the first time at a PPW show. And um, 
one of the things that I'll say is a lot of content creators would. So I, 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 I pride myself on showing up at these places and not making it about myself and going in and doing the work that needed to be done at independent shows. Cause it's not a secret. I love the independency and I love how people that when they come in and they put their work in, um, you came in first time ever at PPW and you could have came in and got content and did everything you had to do. Uh, but you grabbed a camera and you were a cameraman for a night. Didn't get paid a dime like, like most of us don't don't do. Uh, and that is honestly, I will say, besides probably getting in the ring in any aspect, whether you're a referee or a wrestler, the outside cameraman is hard, man. That beats your body up. Your arms are exhausted. You can't go take a pee. You can't you can't get a drink of water like it is a hard job. And I don't even remember that show having an intermission. Tony was dripping buckets of sweat worked insanely hard uh and i was like man for a guy to come in that had that many subscribers and and took his first show to come in and really put back the effort into a, another show that he didn't really have to do was super dope and it, I, I honestly earned a, earned a lot of respect from me to you that you put yourself aside to go in and work at an independent show and be on the other side of a camera and you didn't really have to yeah it was a rough night i didn't get paid um i got one bottle of water um, I think you gave it to me. <laughs> <laughs> I did. <laughs> and, um, well, Paul threw one at you as well because you were in the did, way. Yeah, yeah. He did throw one at me, son of a gun. But I love Paul Ball. But anyway, it, it was tough. But you know, that's when that's our first meeting. And I automatically said to you, Hey bro, um, what's your status? What's going on? Come on my show anytime. I didn't know you from a can of paint. But I knew yeah. you were talented. I could hear your voice. I knew you had you had the gravitas. So um I'm I'm glad we met, bro. You know, we had our ups and downs, we had our little falling out, but who cares? Um, but it, it but those ups and downs made us better people and better content creators. Ag agreed. Humble, thanks for being here. Thank you for the 49 Super Chat as well. We got a Super Chat from, from Smoking Man Joe. I'm going to hit you with one right now. Both of you guys, thank you so much for the Super Chats and supporting the Tantalizing Tony YouTube channel. Let's go old school. <laughs> Now, I had a sequence, I want, and thank you so much. I want to do this a certain way, but because people aren't here, Jasmine's still at work. She's not getting in until 8.30. So I want to jump around. So um, I want to get to Kira and Bobby later because they're here. So this is my daughter, Kyla. She is 23. 23 I almost forgot. I have so many kids. 23 years old. You're going to see my little granddaughter, Nevea. And um, me and her, full disclosure, do not get along all the time. She is really a pain in my butt, but I love her very much. Um, she made me a pop pop for the third time. That little girl on screen is the cutest to me see your life. So, um, ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, my daughter Kyla and my granddaughter Nevea. And of course, and of, and of course, her camera's the wrong way. What a rookie! So she turned this way. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Well. Yeah, yeah. Roll the credits. There it is. Roll okay. Good night, everybody. <laughs> anyway, so Kyla, you you you've known me for a long time. Um, you know I've been a wrestling fan mm -hmm. since you've been born. So when I was gonna do this channel, we probably weren't talking too much because you're in and out, in and out. But 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 at, from where I started to where I'm at, what you think? You did very, very good. I'm so proud of you. What a loser this kid is. Anyway, I she's know, not. I thought she was going to bury it. You still suck. <laughs> she's not. She, Kyla doesn't have a lot to say. She's just, you know. But, um, you know, I don't. So, full disclosure, this is a family show. Kyla really doesn't have nothing to do with it. But she benefits off the money. That's a, that's a fact. Um, uh Oh, we got somebody else? Who else is here? Oh, okay. Okay, look. Kier, Kyla, just, I'm going to mute you for a second. And I got to. I'm going to bring in Anthony Jr. And I'm going to also bring in. Paul Loria, but I want Paul to talk first because it's very important. I know he, he, he wasn't planning on coming in. I did this last minute. This is the first time Anthony and Paul are pricing each other face to face since Anthony was a little kid. Hey, um, happy back. Am I good? No, we saw each other at the barbecue. Oh, the, that's right. The barbecue. That's, that's right. The barbecue. That was yeah, like paintball. Paintball. 15 years yeah, ago. The barbecue. Do you remember what you got me at that barbecue? Yeah, Nick Man. Shut up. I've yeah, heard I'm about it. About that. Okay. So, look, this is when I start getting welled up because I see these guys. At the same time, it's a big deal. So Paul's gonna Paul's about to really put I, I know how Paul is. Because <laughs> Paul because Paul speaks from the heart and he knows he's like he's basically my brother from 
Hey, let's do a cry counter, y'all. That's one. Yeah. Listen, Listen you can, he's right. It, it's it's been over thirty years. Um, to put it in perspective, the family you see in front of you in the Tantalizing Tony show. Um, I've known them since since before most of them were even born. I met little Anthony and his brother Terrell when they were literally maybe two to three years old. And at maybe two or three, little Anthony, which I call him little Anthony. I'm sorry. He's a grown man. Congratulations. I, didn't, I didn't get much taller, Paul. Hey, everybody congratulate him <laughs> on the birth of his child. He is a father now. Beautiful child. He is a great dad. And I'm very Carter. proud of him. Yes, Carter. But yeah, I met Thank him. You, bro. Uh, literally had him. He he had his first. He we had him in a in a pro wrestling ring probably at the age of like three years old, right? Yeah, he was taking bumps at three. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so I'm not taking no bumps ago. anymore. Uh, I could say this because I don't want to take up everybody's time. This is the Tantalus and Tony show. It's not for me, but I will say this. Um, this is this is thirty years in the making. He has found his calling. What a lot of people may not know is over the last thirty years. There is not an aspect of this industry that Tony has not participated in, whether it was this goes back to a backyard wrestling ring. He was a backyard wrestler. He was uh, a manager, a referee. He was ring crew for the original ECW. He was ring crew when it was Eastern Championship Wrestling, and he was there when it was Extreme Championship Wrestling as ring crew. He's been on indie shows. He wrestles as an independent wrestler. There's nothing he has not done, and he has found his his mark in content creation because his personality is second to none. That is how I met him because he stood out in a live crowd making a spectacle of himself like he does everywhere he goes, and we had clicked. And to this day, I don't know if we ever nailed it down, whether it was a WWE or WWF Nassau Coliseum show, or if it was one of the original Monday Night Raws, um, Tony even goes back to the original Vlad days. So it was the it was the original Raw. It was the original Raw, and then we saw it again at Coliseum. So the point is this, people: there is nothing he has not done. There is not there is not an aspect of this industry he has not paid his dues in, and he has finally found his his real true placement. It, it is all in his personality. Anyone who knows him knows. His personality is infectious. Um, he is who he is unapologetically, and you have to respect that. Um, he wears his heart on his sleeve, and I could not be more proud of, of the man you guys see today. Um, yeah, man. It means a lot. It, listen, Anthony knows. Listen, Anthony is – so this is my oldest son, Anthony, guys. He's 37. Um, he's cool. been here. He's been through everything with me from the beginning. He is Anthony's mom. Anthony's mom was murdered um, when he was a young kid, and I was a single. He I was a single dad, and it was tough. He's known the struggles I've had, and Paul. Paul um knows what I've gone through all this time. Um, oh man, Nelson. <laughs> and apologies tonight because. People don't realize that, you know, people think because it's 10,000, right? It's not a big number, but it wasn't, the, it wasn't 10,000. It's because it's, it's, that number is not that huge. It really isn't in the scheme of YouTube. No, no. Because Anthony, you'll get there. That's Black barely Black. hit 1K. 10K no, but is pretty you, impressive. But, but, but you're, <laughs> go, you're going to get there. But you're going to get there. The point I'm trying to make is I set that number for a reason. And I'll explain later after Anthony says what you're going to say. Go ahead, kid. You can going be a box of tissues. Hey, what's up? Um, who I am is because of you, Dad. Like, everyone's just met you in the past few years, right? And everyone who has met you is just taken aback by you because you're just a, a big personality, right? As a kid, I hated it. I hated it. You were embarrassing. Like, it was embarrassing to me to see this all everywhere we went. We go into Denny's or any any restaurant and, and where there's a family. And as soon as you walk through the door, it's like, finally, the Levin family has come into Denny's. You host, you see my beautiful family, put us on the table, give us a nice, what's your name? It doesn't matter what, you, 
everywhere we went. This guy's the biggest ham in the world. As you get older, that shit is annoying, annoying. And then it comes a time where you leave the home and he's not around anymore. And you're like, I walk around and when people meet me, there's things that he does that I do. And people love me based off stuff I've seen him do that I thought I hated. But it's, I love it. And I, it's like, it's a part of me, it's me. You know what I'm saying? And I look at you and I'll, I'm, I'm envious. And also I'm grateful. It's like, the reason I'm able to do the stuff I've done at 37, being able to get past mommy's death, get past being the oldest of, of all the kids and having to have that responsibility, having to figure it out at 18 and less than, once I leave your tutelage, what happens? I get in trouble, you know? I have to figure that out alone. Oh, guys, it's and it was tough. And, and you don't mind me telling saying nothing, right? You don't mind, right? Go ahead, dude. Yeah, Anthony got arrested for some dumbness because he was with the wrong people. And I always but told some him. Shit, I, didn't even, I didn't even do it. Okay. I just hung out with people. Okay, and okay, I was okay. just dumb. Okay. It was dumb. Listen, listen, listen. I tell you, let me handle this. Okay? When, sorry, 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 sorry. No, it's okay. He, he, this is what I tell all my kids. Don't be a follower. Always lead. Always be a leader because... The company you keep, if it's not good company, it'll get you in trouble. There's a there's a quote in the Bible that says, bad associations. Um, and if you have bad associations, it will connect you to bad people. And Anthony, they I apologize. Did. Back for the, uh, what? Hey, Dad. What? I love you, and I think I'm the only person in the world could do this for you. Do this to you. Give me, give me the floor. I got this. One second. No, no, but let me just say this. I love you, Dad. I'm doing this for you. I want everybody to know who you are. You always Wait, tell people who you are. Let this, the one who sees you forever oh, tell people who you are. Okay, this, this is a podcast. You're blowing this. Secure, can, we mute, can we mute Tantalize and Tony's mic for a minute, please? Shut up. I just want to say this last thing. Anthony is the closest of my children because of age, and he, I, he's my first son. And I, I had to turn my back on him when he was locked up. I, had to turn, I, went, to, I went to see him in jail to laugh in his face. He was but, the only so one that came to see me, too, by the way. I am, I am the only one, but I wanted him to see. I said, I said, I told you so. Didn't I tell you? Because I wanted him to see that, yo, I was tough on you for a reason. The world's tough. Go ahead, Anthony. I'm sorry. And Robert Franklin said, Rob, you have to, let me hold on. Let me bring Robin. Rob, you, you have you have time, Rob, to stay for a little while? I think, I think Robert froze. froze. Okay. Go ahead, Anthony. I'm sorry. I apologize. Go. Dad, I'm like you in the way if I don't get it out, I'm going to forget it. So I'm going to have to okay. redo all of this in my head, okay? Go, 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 go. go. Paul, right. Paul, and if anybody should jump out, Paul, I understand if you got to leave because, I, you know, but um, don't I, leave I, me I on to got to say. Wait, there's, there's, there's Frank. There's Robert. Oh, he, we lost him. Damn. Go ahead. Go ahead. And there he goes. All in all, I just want to tell everybody that tantalizing, everyone sees how great of a father he is, but nobody's perfect. He's also a douche, like every, every one of us are at times, right? But I have the utmost respect for my father. There is nobody who could ever, how can I put it? Like, when somebody loses their parent very, very young, they're automatic, they're lost. They don't know what to do out here. And my dad lost his first love, you know? and was raising me trying to figure it out. And I'm watching him day in and day out, figure it out. Whatever, how he had to do it. Rob Peter to pay Paul. You know what I'm saying? He uh, didn't pay me. He never <laughs> paid you, Paul. <laughs> never paid Paul. <laughs> he has but no, um, to, see, to, see, to see in 2024 that you're still doing the same thing that you were doing in 1987, makes me not give up on anything that I do. Like I have a son, I have a fiance, I have a home. My oh, oh. switch us, and with, switch us, wrong Tony. There we go. <laughs> I was I moved across the country and alone and figured this out based off how you raised me. Like your 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 essence, your legacy will live on past you, past you, way past you. You know, things that I, I have Carter watching WrestleMania at three and a half months old. Well, as soon as he's able to freaking walk, I'm going to put him in a collar and elbow tie up. Like, I'm going to, it's because of you. You know, like, I might not be able to be that WWE wrestler that you probably wanted to be, but guess what? Carter might. You know, like, it's, you, you don't understand, and maybe you do understand. I think about you every day, and you instill things in me that I don't know if you know or not. And I hope the other kids eventually figure it out like I did at like around 30. So, <laughs> um, so yeah, I don't know. I love you, Dad. You are my hero. I don't 
I'm trying not to cry. I'm trying not to cry. Um, I know how much this means to you. Like, I know how much this means to you. Like, and I also know that you had me at a time where if you want to follow your dreams, you probably don't want to have a kid to kind of get in the way of it. Right. Not saying to get in the way of it is a bad thing, but I'm human now. And I now have a child. And even at 37, I'm like, damn, <laughs> you know what I mean? So the fact that you took on all of us, every last one of us, I don't have to name everybody. And you never dipped out, never dodged. Never been, never been a child support court once. A lot of people make fun of me. Like, oh, you got all these kids. I know people with one kid, don't take care of them. I have several. I have a, basically the starting five and the bench. And I take care of every one of them. And that's a fact. And still that's, taking that's people. And, and I still, and to this day, as adults, I'm taking care of adult children. So that's a fact. Okay? I need, I need, I need a, a sibling reparation, whatever that is. What's the Listen. older get for all the hard work you put in for the family? <laughs> I need that when you hit 100K, okay? <laughs> we need, we need one of those, we need one of those posters like Roman's Reigns had with the, with the whole family, with yeah. just yeah. 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 Oh, oh, tantalizing oh, bloodline. Yeah. 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 Family. The tantalizing No, but it's, 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 it's like that in a smaller form. I see it as that, like, like, <laughs> It's nuts. It's nuts what you've been able to build, how what Kira has become with this now too, and the opportunities to be able to have through this. Um, I don't know, Dad. I'm just proud of you. And don't give up. Hundred hundred K is coming. And once you get there, then what's next? We'll see. Um, I'm proud of you. And then put me in your will at least for like twenty seven percent. Thanks. I appreciate it. I'm out here. <laughs> let me and let me just um okay, which one I go to? With that being said, hey, I don't want to tell you this. You do look younger than your age, all right? First and last time I'm saying that. Thanks. Let, let me say wrong. this. Let, let me say this. Um, thank you, Anthony and Kira's changing the layouts. And thank you to everybody. Um, people like, oh man, this guy's making a big deal over over 10k, right? So the reason why 10k was such a big deal to me is that you know when you're a kid, you see the game shows, right? What's the what's the main prize? Ten thousand dollars. Like back in the day, when back in the day, you know, not when you guys. Now it's big money. But back when I was watching The Price Is Right and Let's Make a Deal and all that, you know, you just won ten thousand dollars. So ten thousand was the benchmark for everything. You know, if you hit the lottery for ten grand, you're like oh man, even that's nothing today. But ten thousand is the number that everybody respected you when you get ten thousand. So it, it's it looks different than the four digits. You know that four digit that nine 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 nine. We hit that ten thousand. It looks completely different. And that ten k people attribute that with money. Um, oh, El Draco says, "I knew you'd be great for first image twenty two hundred. Thanks, bro. So that's why it's such like a um. Did we do this right here? No, make it bigger. I can't see anything. I'm blind. Anyway, that ten thousand was a big deal because that number always resonated with me. And backstory, you know. And people don't think so. Oh, look at that. Oh, I've, I've failed in every, you know, not being a dad, but things I've tried to do in my life, I failed at. I failed at, I was a professional wrestler. I, re I actually won a title. I quit because I let other personal things get in my way. I was booking. I quit. Anything I did in any business, I always quit. And it was very, um, Anthony's got to leave. Um, it was very, Hard not to quit this, Anthony. I know you gotta go, man. Um, say some real quick, bro. For you gotta get out of here, black. Woman. Yeah. Um, listen, I we, we, we the the history is there, right? Ups and downs, but I like yeah. just like just like it seems that the trend of the family and any good family is you have those ups and downs, right? You get annoyed, you get pissed off at each other, but that's what makes a bond stronger if you're willing to have those conversations to fix them because you truly care about one another. Um, just as much as you help me, I, I've tried to help you as a content creator. You've helped me, bro. I, I, how we, he joked around and said, man, who's this douche screaming everywhere he goes and, and carrying on and acting like a fool, bro. That's exactly what sets you apart. And that's why people remember you. And, and, and as someone, as 90% of the people in the world, that's a fear. That's, that's an insecurity that people don't do that because they're held back by that fear of putting themselves out there and being that. And that to me, that's the craziest 
weapon that you have that no one else possesses because me i would never be able to walk in a room i barely can talk to somebody or say hey i have a podcast we'll be on it let alone walk in and dance and go crazy. right it's it's a superpower you have man and and uh you like listen this mania weekend i i, I went down there with zero dollars in my pocket negative in the bank account no car banking on anyone to get me anywhere i can and my first my first opportunity, a WWE legend walked in and I went, I thought to myself, like, man, like, how would Tony handle this? I can't scream and yell still. I can't do that. But, I, but he would but he would walk over to that person and he would say, Can I get that interview? And I did. And I and I did that all week long. And I got some of the best interviews of my life. I got a I got a I got a interview that I that no one really gets in this industry because he just doesn't do interviews. And and it's all because of that that motivation that that just go get it attitude. And that's honestly, I'm trying to learn more of that from you to put myself and make myself better. Wow. Bro, I don't. This is just the beginning, man. You look at every yeah. major content creator out there and, and they're, they're doing it because they're working together. They're putting each other's names out there, bro. Even when we weren't cool, you were still put my name out there. You know what I mean? Like, and I that, still was. And yep. that means the world to me. You know what I mean? Because real respect's real. Um, I'm sorry I can't stay late. I got a show of my own in a couple minutes here. But everyone analyzing family, nation. Your show's, keep, keep your show's trash. And and hopefully, so here, bro. <laughs> hopefully hit 2,000 by WrestleMania 29. Yeah, listen. 49, sorry. <laughs> one day, one day. But no, listen, even me. if I don't get it I, at the end of the no, day, man, these these memories, these experiences, the people you meet along the way. I, honestly, I'm at a point now where if the numbers come, they come. But it's all about those experiences. It's all about those memories. It's all about those moments. And one of my best moments, honestly, is meeting that meeting you and your beautiful family. Oh, uh, thank you. You guys are all fantastic. So thank you guys so much. Uh, keep sharing this channel out, everyone in the chat. Keep show, subscribing. Keep doing all that stuff. They work so damn hard at this and this is only the right. beginning abj we love you man thanks brother take it easy guys i'll take see you see you soon later brother wow it's abj that's big. um that's crazy um kira are you there i mean kira kyla are you there she's muted eh? i don't know hey uh, just to, to piggyback off what he was just saying though about that personality i will say this you meeting cody rhodes was one thing but you passing off your card to Cody Rhodes, that was legendary. Legendary. <laughs> he subscribed. He said he was subscribed to it. I believe him, too. And listen, I want to point this out, guys. I told my wife about that. I told my wife that not only did you meet Cody Rhodes, but you passed your card along to him, and she's like, of course he did. It's Tony. He expected listen, nothing less. Let's be honest. Cody could not finish that story last year, but the minute he touched that YouTube title, greatness. True story. Not to mention, have you seen the, have you seen the backlash poster? Mm hmm. You have, right? Mm, yeah. Looks familiar. Yeah, it looks a little familiar, doesn't it? That that little pose he has. In fact, I'm going to show you guys because that dude, Cody Rhodes, what? Oh. Hold on. Where, uh, this side right here. It's actually on the wrong side. I'm gonna, I know, but oh, hold on a second. Do, share it, please. Somebody just popped in. There we go. Wait for it, people. Wait for it, yeah. Hey, Dad, you, you save these for later. You save these for later. Watch, right? Yeah, of course. You see that pose, right? Yeah, go good. Uh, yeah, you see that pose, right, guys? Yeah, yeah. You see that right there? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, you're the great value version. Yo, whatever it is, I might be the great value, but guess what? <laughs> Finish your story because of me, okay? No, nah, I hear you. Man, I hear you. Sticking to it. Who jumped in? There we Yes, there she is. Jasmine's here. The love you, Jasmine. Okay, but Jasmine, before you talk, Kyla, can you hear us? Can you talk? Yeah. All right, listen. You you know you don't have that much to say, but I just want to tell you in front of everybody, because I know me and you go at odds sometimes, and sometimes you curse me out, and sometimes I call you names, but that's how it is with me and you. We got a very volatile relationship. Doesn't mean I don't love you any less. Um, The reason why I wanted to bring you in with, with your siblings, with Mike. Go get him. Um, Jasmine. Uh, Hi, guys, these are all my kids. And the guy in the upper right-hand corner is my white child. That's Paul Laurie. He's my white kid. <laughs> That's going to be a lifetime all those me. True, true story. And I'm glad that Paul's here because Paul has known Anthony and Jasmine since they were chill, little babies. Very little, oh, yes. Yeah. Uh, Jasmine's born in 93. so Definitely knew Jasmine from the, from, from the womb. The beginning. The womb. Yeah, yeah, literally, yes. 
Shout out to EW1 who went out on a tangent, got all his people to subscribe. I think the Philippines is still like subscribing to the channel because I went, guys, you should see the numbers. I went from 9,970 something to like 1,140 in like an hour. It was crazy. Mute, mute, mute your younger daughter in here, please. She's the worst. Um, yes, I'm going to I'm gonna make room for you guys to all come in. But I will say this in, in, to, to wrap this up, though. Like I told you earlier, you I am beyond proud of you. You are my brother. You are my best friend. And I could not be happier. And uh, keep sharing. Keep, keep supporting the page. And uh, listen, man, I'd like to see you go 24-7. That's a story for another day. Yes. We, and I know Look, I got guys. it. Trust me, I got it, bro. Hey, Paul, um, I love you so much, bro. You guys, I'll see you soon, man. Yeah. Love you, Paul. Love you. Frodo Baggins, everyone. That's Frodo. Got him. Got him. All right. So, where's Bobby now? Uh, he look good, Jasmine. He so he's oh, going to get Bobby. <laughs> no, I just don't see. We don't talk to each other like that. Oh, yeah, I mean on video chat. I just watch your pictures and stuff. That's, that's because you have an on Android, and we all have iPhones. Yeah. So what y'all? Y'all a cult. I'm. I have. A, I have a. Yeah. I'm a. I'm a leader. Y'all are followers. Continue. No. Shout out to connecting people. With, connecting people to wrestling. Chris Parkhurst, my good friend, who motivational man. I love this guy. Chris, good to see you. All right. So look, everybody. I wanted. Mikey. I did. I did is Jasmine single? No, she ain't single. And it's not a chat room for <laughs> dating. Calm down, Mike D. You see that okay? smile I've had this whole time? That <laughs> smile will go away forever. Okay. So listen. Okay. I want to do this while we're all here, cause. This is the this is the click right here. Um, Savage, I sent you an invite. Please join when you can. So everybody, Anthony, Jasmine, Kyla, Bobby, Kira, Mike. Um, these are the kids that have really got me through a lot in my life. Why's the door open? Um, at different times in my life, I've had to struggle, and I haven't. There's been times I wouldn't have made it. There's times I was almost homeless, but because of them. I fought because of them. I found a way to grab um, victory from the hands of defeat. Like this is not me just like pontificating. There's literally been times where where I wouldn't have money for food, and I would figure it out because I knew I had them. Um, and I want to tell all you guys in this room: this goes for this goes for Anthony, this goes for Jasmine, this goes for Kyla, this goes for Bobby, Kira, and Mike. I would not be the man I am. today <laughs> without you guys. You guys, you say I'm your hero, right? You guys are my heroes. Because I'm going to say this, and people are going to say, why are you telling your business? Growing up, my mom didn't show me that she loved me at all. It was very hard on me. It was very hard growing up when you feel someone doesn't love you. And I believe she loves me, but it's very hard when you think someone doesn't love you. And when you guys were born, I saw how you guys looked at me, all of you. And you always looked at me with such like admiration and like I was like I was Superman. <laughs> what an idiot. <laughs> Anthony always finds a way to mess up something. Sorry, but go ahead. Being, being your dad, forget ten thousand, forget a hundred thousand, forget a million, well, a million of my children. But other than that, um, being your father has been the greatest honor of my life. And I just want to tell you guys that. Okay, all right. Now, Kyla, I'm kicking you out because the baby sleep. I love you, Kyla. You don't have much to say anyway. Just keep watching. Hello, Mama. Hello, Nevea. I love you, baby. <laughs> all right, Kyla, I love you. No need for you to stay. We don't. You stick it away. Beat it. We love you. You are the weakest link. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> all right. So look, before we quite talk to them, let's bring in one of my arch rivals and my good friend, ladies and gentlemen. This is. I don't know if it's going to be George or Savage, but we'll see right now. Hey, what's up, Tony? Is this, is this George or is this Savage? I don't know anymore. I'm too tired to make up my damn mind. But congratulations <laughs> on 10,000. Congratulations on your weekend. Wow. Uh, congratulations on our weekend. I feel like a lot of YouTube people uh, were doing their thing this weekend. I, not just you, I, not just me. We all knocked it out of the park. We all, every content creator I saw knocked it out of the park. I saw people doing great things, and it was incredible. And I like it because the, the media, 
like the guys that have the you know the real, real press credentials, they look down on us. Thank you, Guardian. But uh, we killed it this weekend. I was very proud to be in the in the presence of people like you, like Suplex, like Mal Mal Muscle Man Malcolm, like Java Tears Podcast, um, like um, Recap. Help me out. Rewind, relive. Rewind, relive. Um, if I didn't mention your name, I apologize. Um, oh, of course, all about wrestling podcasts. Ken Hoover, my man Ruder, everybody. It was incredible, guys. Um, Savage, real quick, I'm not gonna put you on, leave you on too long, but I just want to. I brought you in for. I'm glad you're in the chat. I want to tell you thank you for motivating me because you're me and you are, are similar to each other, very similar when it comes to not being afraid. And that drives me. And we have a rivalry, which is great because when I see him, like, oh, this son. when you talked to The Rock, oh, I was hot. I ran over the chairs and I picked me, picked me. I was hot. But you know what it was? Even though it was competitive, I was so happy for you because I want my guys to make it. You know, um, if I ever make it first, you know, you always got a place in my camp and I know vice versa. I, I just want you to come in and tell you thank you very much for being that dude. Um, that's it, man. You know, it, I know you're here to celebrate me. No big deal. I, I want to let you know, bro. I love you very much. Oh, I'm proud you, of you, man, because 10,000 is not easy to do, and you did it with hard work, and the most important thing that a lot of people lack is consistency. Doing yeah, it on the days that you don't even want to do it. Watching wrestling on a day or a night. Shout that out to Kira. Have, you know, you didn't have a good day. And then, of course, a big shout out to your support system, which is sitting right next to you. They help you, your road crew. You got a great yeah. crew right there, man. And you have everything it takes to go out there and uh, make this thing bigger than it already is. Turn it into an industry. You have an opportunity to work your way into multiple companies. You have an opportunity to work yourself to get sponsorships. There's a lot of things coming your way. As long as you keep doing what you've been doing, and that's stay tantalizing. Wow. Savage George, I thank you for that. I'm gonna talk to my kids and my you know my kids right now, but I want to tell you thank you, bro. You 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 inspire me, bro. Oh, Captain Ivan's here. What's up, everybody? It's me, your boy, Mr. 10K. What's up, Captain Ivan? Um this weekend again, was bro. special, Tony, for everybody. Very special. I you wish know, you, you know, you know damn well what that moment meant to me as a wrestling fan. Forget bro, forget you, Savage as a no, wrestling fan. Yo, it's so, incredible. It's crazy weekend, because it's, you got to talk to him and he gave me a pound at ringside. So I got to touch greatness as well. So which was all, awesome. We all, like I said, uh, what a fantastic WrestleMania weekend. And and the fact that you were able to hit 10 key, 10 K during this whole WrestleMania weekend, just like you said, you were, it's a big deal. And I'm proud of you. And I, I won't take up any more of your time, brother. Just keep killing it. Keep grinding. And don't give a shit about what anybody says. Yeah. The people that matter in your life. Facts, bro. I appreciate you. All right, Thank you, night. Savage. Thank you, Talk brother. Talk to you later. Everybody, have Thank a good you, night. Bro. Thank you for having me. Of course, bro. That's Savage, everybody. And let me say this while Mike's here. Mike's not going to get this. He's tired. Um, If you see Mike, um, <laughs> Mike was very quiet and very reserved little boy. He didn't say a lot. He didn't say a lot. He really didn't. And one day when I said, hey, let's do the super chat, and he just, you know, and that's, that's this thing right here, guys. If you see him, if you see me looking over at me, and then he's not too sure. But then, hey, I'm Mikey. Thanks for the super chat, baby. Ding ding. Now the wink, <laughs> the wink was all him. He still was nervous. Looked up, but then. And then... What's up, everybody? It's me, your boy, Magnificent Mikey. And thanks for the super chat, baby. Ding, ding. Yeah. <laughs> From that to that, and now he's cutting promos. He interviewed Chris Van Vliet. He interviewed Mark Henry. These don't you even got up Roman yet. Reigns' attention. Yes, Roman Reigns acknowledged him. He he he, he interviewed... um. <laughs> what? Man. Nothing. He, he interviewed um, AJ Francis, known as Top Dollar. He talked to Tony Schiavone. Tony Schiavone gave him some advice. It was crazy. So he talked. He's he rubs elbows with greatness at six years old. I just want to tell. Yes, buddy. 
And I met Bianca Belair. Oh, I'm so I was yeah. gonna get to that. Yeah, forget I that. that. I was gonna get to that. Bobby's always so slow. I, I was gonna get to that, and of course, his his hero. Hey, I'm on my own. And I wanted to tell you because I know you're tired. I know you're gonna go eat whatever we're gonna be doing. I want to tell you this, kid. You're not gonna understand what I'm telling you right now, but one day when you watch this as a man, you'll get it. You saved my life. You did. Because my life wasn't going well, and then you were born, I had to take care of you because I was about to walk out of everything and leave everybody. And because of you, I stayed, which means we all stayed together. You are going to do great things with your life. You might be the president. You might be better than that. You might change the world. Remember this always. If you remember nothing else, don't let anybody tell you you can't do anything because you are my son, and I love you. Understand? Yes. All right. Oh, that's your dad. All right. Beat it. Beat it, kid. Get out of here. Bye, Love you, right. bro. Love you, Mikey. Love you, Anthony. Good night, Jasmine. Love you. Nobody cares about your manners. Get out of here. All right. Love you, bro. So, Big Bucks are going to take. Big Bucks, get back here. All right. Jasmine. No need to go into backstory because we're fine. You're. <laughs> what? What's for you after that? Y'all got a great relationship. <laughs> we do. <laughs> like, oh, we, hey, me and Anthony. <laughs> yeah, we don't like yeah. each other. <laughs> Kyla, hey, <laughs> Jasmine. No, there's nothing to no, talk no, about. What's up? Me, me and Jasmine. I had our, Listen, our ups I'm and downs. I don't know what you, what you want me to tell you. He wants man to make you much. Um, Jasmine, I I cannot be more proud of the woman you are. I'm. I listen to you when you talk about black women and empowerment. And it's not something I pay attention to because I'm a man. But you've taught me that, you know, you have to be very conscious of other people's feelings. And especially women, because women basically run the world. Without a woman, you can't be born. Um, I would never think that when it when you when you're a, a dad, you never see your kids as your equal, even when they get adults. And and I definitely see you as somebody I admire and I learn from. We come, your home, and this goes for Anthony too. Your home is beautiful. We come to your home. We, we came to your home, and you, the way you made us feel, it was like it was like it was like being in a hotel. Like how Jasmine had everything all properly ready you for us. You definitely felt that about Jasmine before me. I think it took you coming to see me this time, and you felt that. But you definitely felt that with Jasmine before she she put the work in. This is why you don't have a podcast because you <laughs> cut me off anyway. <laughs> no, it's okay. Um, when we went to your house, Jasmine. Two Thanksgivings ago, I was so impressed with how you and Eric, how you navigate your home, and how you're so conscious of how to pay your bills. Don't use a lot of the electricity, and how your house was clean, and how you had everything ready for us. And it was like, bro, we went to the we went to the bathroom. There was there was um candles and candles and toiletries, <laughs> and you know how you get the the tubes of you know um body wash like you get in a hotel. It was like it was like the it was like five it was a five star it was a five star hotel where we stayed. Your cooking, oh my god, the yams and every, just the food in general. You you. I know where I'm going never, now. <laughs> <laughs> you definitely, you definitely um showed that if you, and I'm not taking credit for everything, but I know one thing about my daughters. I was always on them to respect themselves and. You know, it was, doesn't always pan out all the time, but you know how to take care of yourself. You're a strong black woman, and I, I couldn't be more proud of you that that you're my daughter, and I mean that with everything. I know that when I just I know this was a big deal for you when I hit that number because it meant it, it it like validated me, and I know you I, you know what I've been through, you know my life, so I just want to tell you thank you on that one. Um, I love you. Oh, you gonna say something? Yeah. Oh, oh, okay. Uh, yeah. Um. This. I'm proud of you for doing this because it made me be like, finally, like he's doing something that's like for him. I know you spoke on like um, grandma for a bit, but I want you to know that like you're worth it. Whatever, like whatever you were taught or how you, however you felt as a kid and abandonment and, or whatever. I'm glad that. Um, 
I'm glad that you made it through. And it gives me hope, like, being an adult. Um, it's, it's very hard. It's not, I know people like, oh, well, it's hard for everyone. But it's really hard, like, being being Black in America. Like, it, it really is. And for you to do it, like, as a Black man, it, it, it's, it's inspiring. And I just want you to know, like, don't pay attention to people like you're on the rise and like this is only the start and whatever like you get told the people that don't like you like they don't matter everything you experience like in your life from the bad like it's only going to be sunshine for me it's very like cliche to say but um I'm very proud of you and they say like you're as a father your first love is your daughter and I've always felt that like about you, like looking up to you in, in that way. And I wouldn't be able to pick a man to be with if it, like it wasn't for you. Eric wouldn't be like my choice or how to take care of me if you didn't instill that in me. And um, yeah, I'm proud of you and I'm proud of this channel and I'm proud of Kira so much. And I, just, I I love you guys every day that come and come back and comment and it means something like people go through stuff every day and just for you guys to come back and like just comment anything hi or just like the channel and spend time with us it means a lot to him I know it does it and, does um I know you have a frustrating life I don't know you've been through a lot and for all of us I just I see nothing but like clear skies if that makes any sense. Like from here, like we're not, not to put our business out there, but we're not like, we don't talk every day, but I'm glad that you made this channel because it gives us time like to spend together. And you got me and like, Anthony was, I was watching the show earlier and Anthony was saying like, there's a lot of stuff that he notices about stuff that you instilled in them. And like, he notice it, notices it now as an adult and like, like I'm saying before, like who did the B Bianca Belair and Naomi and that match. Like there's a lot of things that I love about myself and it's because of you. Like movies, wrestling, Star Wars and stuff like that. And stuff I hope when I do, if I do have a kid, like to instill like those things in them. And like how to love yourself and how to be boisterous and obnoxious that you are. Sometimes it's embarrassing. Like when we uh, go outside and like uh, Anthony was saying about that Denny's thing. He would make us do grease, guys. Grease lightning for people every day. And, like, I'm socially, like, awkward. And, like, he's not. And I think that's it. Like, I'm, I'm just proud of you. I'm really proud of you. And, Dad, whatever people say about you, please, like, just know they don't matter. And as long as you have us by yourself, like, you can do anything. And, yeah, I love you. Yo, Jasmine, thank you so much for that. And yeah, I did used to make them do grease. We used to wear Denny's. I would put on shows. They would do grease lightning for people. I was making money off these kids from when they were babies. I knew what I was doing. <laughs> no, but I, you know what it was? Why I did stuff like that is because I was wanting to see, like, have no fear. Never let anybody, never let anybody be able to tell you that you can't do something, be shy or whatever. Just take, take control. And that's why I did that. But Jasmine, I, I can't thank you enough for the things you said. And um, I'm, you know, I'm your, I'm a, I'm a girl dad because of you. So it taught me how to be, you know, I'm not the perfect man. I'm far from it. You know, I still have to learn how to treat women better and talk better and everything. But because of you and because of my other daughters, I have um learned to do better. So I, I thank you for that. Um, I really love you very much. Like I, I know people think I love one more than the other. We just all have different relationships. It's just different. We all have. They all they're different kids. It's different. I will love Jasmine more than me. <laughs> All right. See, I just realized just now, Dad. Jasmine's amazing. Like I didn't know. <laughs> like, I didn't know. Like, yo, oh my god, guys, she's all, wow. Guys, just for the record, Anthony has smoked some weed today. So anyway, um, <laughs> let me get the big bucks. And I want to thank everybody for being here today. This is like a, basically a family celebration. And I'm going to tell you again why the 10 came in so much. If you missed it. Wonton Taco Bobby, Sandwich Boy Bobby, um, Bikini, what was it? Wait, 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 here's something else. Booty Shorts Bobby. Booty Short Bobby. Oh, um, God. No Bucks Bobby, Half Bucks Bobby, 
Steak shop, Bobby. steak shop, Bobby. Whatever it was, big um, <laughs> um is that his stick? He has a new Buffalo, name. <laughs> Buffalo, Buffalo, everywhere he works, Buffalo Wild Wings, Bobby, and of course now Big Bucks, Bobby, which has no bucks ever. But now Bobby's got a, is a different. So between Anthony and the other kids, Bobby's the only boy who was with me from the beginning of his birth until now. Anthony and you know was when me and his mom. We were together and we separated for a while before we got back together. So for a little while, Anthony wasn't with me. Um, maybe a, a year or two span where he was with his mom back and forth. But Bobby's been with me the entire time. And Bobby's, and I'm going to say this with all due respect, Bobby is the most annoying, awkward, <laughs> clumsy kid you ever want to meet. Like, this kid was seven years old and burnt to hand in the microwave because he put oatmeal in it with no, in the microwave with no water. <laughs> Yo, he comes running out of the kitchen. He comes out of the kitchen. Oh, Dad, my his finger, the, the the skin hanging over his finger. Like, what you do? I went to get oatmeal. I look at that. Said, "Where's the water?" He goes, "You gotta put water in the oatmeal." <laughs> yes, idiot. Oh, I'm man. like, oh, my God. So that was Bobby. But the one thing about Bobby that no one, nobody else has is Bobby's the most good-hearted child you ever want to meet. Out of all of that, them, got the best heart. And I mean, I was I was tough on him. Anthony knows I was tough on the boys. I'm tough on the boys because they got to be men one day and they got to take care of themselves. And as Anthony told you, now he gets it when he got to pay that 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 rent and them lights and that car note and feed that baby when he ain't got no food stamps. You see, it ain't no joke. Now I I, I prepared you for this economy. I don't, I don't I don't I don't need any food stamps. I figured it out. Okay, thanks That's, to you. And that's what I always want. I never wanted you to get EBT, even though EBT is good. But I wanted you to always have hey, to depend hey, on yourself. I ain't talking against it. I'm just saying. <laughs> Me neither. So, but that's what I wanted. But because Bob, because Anthony in his 20s was still having so many problems, I would be harder on Bobby because I said, I'm not going to have this. So I was also, in my 20s, also in my 20s, I did a lot of it without anybody's help for most of it. I, I was, was I doing the best job? No, but... <laughs> You did it on home. No, he did do he did do it. He did do it. But I saw how he struggled and I didn't want that for Bobby. So I was tougher on Bobby than I was on Anthony. And when I tell you tough, one day I waterboarded Bobby. Just let me see what it was like. He thought he, he listen, Bobby thought he could take waterboarding. He saw it on TV. I said, You think you would take a mask over your face? So I took a I put a Kai was in no trouble. I put a handkerchief over his face. Two seconds. <laughs> water, getting the monetized water, right now. And poured water. He's like, oh my god. So just because I want him to see how, how tough life is. And, you know, I was on his case. You know, he, he was, he was, he's very smart, but he's very lazy because things come easy to his family. We're very smart. We're very intelligent. So we don't, we don't work hard because we don't have to, because we're that good at what we do. But with Bobby, I could see that people were against him because he's such good hearted, so good hearted. They would take advantage of him. And well, as Bobby got older and when he graduated, I saw a change in him. Like he says, okay, you know, it's not a, Take control of things now, and I'm still tough on him now. He he still lives with me. He needs to get out, but not now. I love that he's here. Um, I could I can't say nothing bad about you. What you turn what you turned out to be because Bobby's not always on camera, but he does help behind the scenes. Not as much as Kira, but he does do his part. Nobody's gonna be as into it as Kira with her her you know um technical aspects. But I can honestly say that this kid here, I love all you the best. I love all you the same. But he's the most good-hearted person I ever wanted to meet. He would give you if you guys if he has a dollar, he'll give you a dollar fifty. Don't ask me how he does it, but he'll do it. <laughs> That's uh, why I got no he's, bucks. He's also um un, like he. <laughs> he's what? I think I think he's like unintentionally funny. That yeah. When he had me crying on that show, when he turned that oh my god, when he turned that shirt over and there was nothing there. I've never laughed so hard in my life. <laughs> Yeah, he's looking for a logo. It's no logo. But I'm I'm hard. Yeah, yeah. I'm hard on him because I don't want him to be like me. I told him this in the hotel room over the weekend. He saw what I went through this weekend. I, when I say not like me, I mean struggling. I don't want them to struggle at fifty. I'll be fifty six Sunday. I don't want him to be fifty six struggling. I want him to be fifty six retired, having his own place, going to the going to his summer home. That's one for all you guys. I want to be able to visit you guys and eat the money out of your refrigerator. Yeah, EW, when he looks like Solo Sokoa, what a loser he looks like. But 
I know I'm hard on you, and you, and I give it, it. It's rough on you with me and everything, but I just want you to be better. You left your plate on the table today, and I cursed you out, and I will continue to do that until you get it right. But I want you to know that being Anthony's father and having the transition like from him and then being your dad, because of him, I learned a lot better. I learned how to do things better. And some things I did to you were intentional to be hard on you. So you will see how hard it is out here. You see how out here in the work for us, you have a hard time holding a job sometimes because you're too nice. So I just want to tell you that still to this day, I might be on your case, but this 10K is as much as your, yours as it is mine because you helped me get there. And I just want to tell you thank you for that. And I love you very much. You. I'm not going to cry because, you, oh, God, oh, no, 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 no. Oh. <laughs> get him again, Bobby. No, no, don't get him again. <laughs> All right. And finally, um, I'm not going to go into everything. I'm not. Because everybody knows. Damn. I don't. Go ahead. Control yourself, because I want to talk about Kira. Okay. Everybody knows <laughs> what this kid does. Okay, Did you, I'm a I'm gonna do a little Glee um analogy, <laughs> and she'll love this. Corey Monteith played Finn in Glee. He was a football player, the star of the star of the team, the quarterback. Will Schuster knew the Glee Club needed somebody that could motivate people, that could bring different people into Glee Club. That if Jocks saw Finn on the on the on the Glee Squad singing, even though he was a star football player, they might give it a chance. So Mr. Schuster planted drugs on Phil, on, on, on Finn. He planted drugs on weed. He says, look, man, I'll get you out of trouble if you join the Glee Club. He tricked them. And, of course, we know how it turned out. He joined the Glee Club. Um, If Corey Monteith hadn't died, the story would have ended differently. But the moral of the story is that you always need that one person that you don't know you need until you need them. And sometimes you got to get them by any means necessary. Sometimes you got to lie, cheat, and steal to get them. And that's what Will Schuster did. He tricked Finn. I tricked her into doing this channel. I tricked her. I said to her, listen, just help me out for a couple of days. I, I can't do the graphics. I knew what I was doing. So one day, we, one day turned into two. <laughs> this guy is just, yo, he's swear. This is way over podcast. Let me drink this big gallon of juice. I'm not that from you. Yo, I'm doing it here, though. Um, it's okay. Um, <laughs> one day turned into two. I see. Two turn, turn to, two turned to a week. A week turned to a month, and 10,000 subscribers later, she's still here. The graphics look great. The channel has evolved because of her. And thank you, Ryan. I'll get to your, co co your comment in a second. Um, Kira talks back to me. Excuse me. Sometimes she borderline yells at me. No, it's not, we're not doing it that way. I, I admire that, that she... Um, not afraid to stand up to me. That's one thing that is that all I had to do. <laughs> you know why? Because I'm gonna explain to you. She she gets it. Cause see, she sees something to me that you guys don't see. You guys think I'm a monster because I'm. Da -da -da. But Kira sees me because we're. I guess because we're together all the time. She sees that I know how to get to dad. He's soft hearted. I know what to say. And if I stick my stand my ground, he respect it. And that's all I wanted for everybody. And Kira at 19 is more of a woman than I'm a man at 56 years old. This kid inspires me, and I put a lot on her plate. Kira dropped out of college. She took a year off, uh, a semester off to do the channel. And she could have had a, her bachelor's by now. That's how smart she is. And she, and she, she said, you know what? My father and his, and his dream is more important than my dream. So I'm going to help him. What's up, Chuck Doodles? Um, so when, when you guys see me crying and breaking down and everything, it's because I see it's not just about her. I see all of you in her because every part of where I raised you guys is in Kira. Kira is like the hybrid of all you guys. Part Jasmine, part Crazy Kyla, part ir Irresponsible Anthony, part, <laughs> part, part Clumsy Bobby. Um, 
she's tough. She's tough, but she also she she's she, she's um she's sensitive and she's vulnerable and it's you know. Kira has not has yet to have a boyfriend. Sorry, Kira. You know it's true. She's nineteen years old. She's nineteen years old, and she puts her life on the back burner for me because she knows that I should have been doing this. I got ten. <laughs> I should have done this. I should have been doing this ten years ago. I should be at five. I should be with Logan Paul. I should have been at WrestleMania yesterday because Logan Paul's a hack. You were WrestleMania. I was there. I'm, I've been in a few. I've been in a few. Um, but the point is that my life should have been different. It should have gone a different way because I made bad choices and didn't do the right thing. Wait, wait, keep stuff fighting on Listening. camera. Jeez. Look I'm at all the good choices on the screen right now, though, Dan. Yeah, well, those are, some of you guys were because uh, condoms weren't available. But anyway. <laughs> anyway. Um, I can't say. I can't say more about you because we be here all day. Um without you we don't get to 10k without you Bobby doesn't Michael doesn't meet Bianca without you we don't go to SummerSlam because you edited that video. Without you I don't get to touch the rock's hand. Without you Cody doesn't say stay tantalizing. Without you I don't get to, I didn't get to meet the people I get to meet. I didn't get you know there's, there's things I've done in this business. I got to sit I sat backstage at a um battle at a battleground wrestling show with Mark Henry in gorilla position as he schooled people. D'Lo Brown has my phone number. Alicia Fox has my phone number. Like Dave LaGreca from Busted Open and his wife invite me to things. That's because of you. Like my dream wasn't coming true because I couldn't figure it out on my own because I'm so all over the place. And you you went what you did is you um that's my son, Mike, my oldest son. Um you, thank you, Ashley. I got to talk to Biggie. Thank you, Ashley. Like I got to interview people that you don't get to interview. I got to, I interviewed Nick Khan, the CEO of WWE. Yeah, it was for two seconds, but you tell me what any other content creator had a chance to do that. You know, I incredible. Bailey told me she needs, she wants to be her manager, and of course she's just being a, uh, you know, doing her job as a wrestler. But those are things that we remember. As men. So. Without you, there's no ten thousand Tony YouTube channel. There's no ten thousand. There's no one thousand. There's no one. You're, you know, like without you, we're not here today. So I just want to tell you, and this goes for all the kids, Kyle, if you're still watching. When they say it takes a village, it does. And to Aww. every to everybody that I haven't mentioned, like Lorraine, Jen, Jenny B. Trevina. Um, I can't even go to that one. Um, all my friends for 30 years, Nelly, Pat G. I can't mention everybody. I really can't. Paul OSP. Craig OSP, Paul Craig, Kevin, um, Mike, Robert Franklin, who couldn't keep a connection. <laughs> um Triple R, I don't know where Triple R is. Um, Ruda, he didn't reply either. Everybody's busy. Um, if less, without less, man, let's start the QR code thing. Not to mention Big Hirsch, everybody from um, Mania Club, DJ those. Norris, you know, Ethan, all those guys, King Kevin. I can't mention everybody, so many people. All about wrestling podcast. Bobby Rousseau's and Jasmine Savage. I didn't get it by myself. Ken Hoover. I didn't get it by myself. And everyone and in this chat. Everybody, you all inspire me to do this every day. I'm tired. I haven't slept in days, and I said I had to do this show tonight. I'm not even talking about wrestling. Talking about us. But I want to tell you guys with all my heart. Everybody in this chat. Everybody who watches, yes, boom, baby. Thank you, thank you. And everybody who's going to watch, you guys think we did something at 10K? You wait on the road to 20K and, and up. This channel's going to change. Oh. The channel's going to be, what's the matter? Look at your baby. Oh, <laughs> there's my grandson. Oh, my God. 
Say hi, Grandpa. And Auntie Jasmine and Auntie oh. Kira and Uncle Bobby. Oh my God. Look at that girl, man. Hi. Hey, yo, yo, boy. Boy. <laughs> boy, that's crazy. And guys, true story. Without Tan Lines and Tony, none of them are on this screen. True story. Yeah, that's how um fathers work. <laughs> <laughs> that's genetics. Oh, <laughs> All I can say to everybody in this chat, everybody support this channel. Thank you so much. I wish Ricky had showed up. I guess he's he must be working. Um, Ricky's been an integral part of the show. Oh, Ryan, we met you had less than two K followers. Now you have ten K. Absolutely earned credit to the family, Time Nation. Thank you, Ryan. Appreciate you, bro. Bro, thank you, Parma. Thank you to everybody. I'm not gonna say about Ricky, guys. A lot of Ricky is Ricky. He says some crazy stuff sometimes, but that's why he's Ricky. Um, Ricky has been loyal from day one. Um, I can't say more about that dude. Um, anyway, I'm going to get off. I, I really just want to tell you guys thank you. It's more of a thank you to you guys. Um, I celebrate you guys. We got balloons in the back. <laughs> um, nobody got me confetti? No, nothing? Did anybody give me a gift? No, I, I did actually. Yeah. What, I did get you a gift. What was the gift? Am I can I show? Yeah, show the gift, everybody. So listen, hey, everybody. Hey, so look at that. The one, the one misfit, the one eyeball <laughs> got you something. Wait, 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 wait. And this is why I wait for guys. You guys know that the name of the federation is the Tantalizing Wrestling Federation, the TWF. Well, Bobby is the first recipient of the TWF tattoo. <laughs> <laughs> He did do that, didn't he? Pull back, pull back. <laughs> Shout out to you. That's insane. Yeah, so, I'm, so, so I'm gonna match it, um, probably this week or whatever. But, um, he did that at WrestleMania weekend. And listen, what what kid puts their federation initials on their arm? And um, just so you guys know, grab me, grab me, um, Kira's. Diva title. Right, title. Any from now on, guys, if you're gonna order a belt from Ruda, let them know. It might cost a little extra, but if if you want to be part of the TWF, that logo there is a TWF logo. They're on all the belts that. That's nice. That's nice. Bobby, go, Bobby, go to the thing so you can see them close. Hey, where's my belt at? Yeah, relax yourself. All right, copy. <laughs> so hey, y'all see that behind me? You see that behind me? The, the, the tree? Yeah. Yeah, it's my holiday tree. Back up, back. No, wait, wait. Back, back. Yeah. But, so, guys, this is the TWF logo. So, if you want this on your belt, tell Ruda. It'd be a little charge, but that's up right there. Up right there. And that's on my belt, of course, as well. Ten Lives Wrestling Federations. That's the TWF thing you got. Who um, this guy think he is, man? <laughs> Shout out to Mick, who's been here from day one. Love you, Mick. Thank, good to see you too, Chucky. Oh, that's right. Mrs. Oh, thank you to JB, Mrs. Steelia Dibs. Thank you. That's right. Mrs. Steelia Dibs. Of course, everybody from MVS, Brian Blackman, Muhammad, all those guys, the, 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 the International Four Horsemen, um, 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 everybody. Joe, Dime, all those guys. Um, I can't name everybody because it just be too much. My boy Brock, not Lesnar Mosby. But all I can say is this, guys. Thank you, everybody who supported me. It's been a good ride. It ain't over. We won't be counting any more subscribers until we get to 100,000. I don't care about the 20, 30, to 40, or 50. I do not care. We'll just mention it. Yeah, but you, you def you're definitely going to say something about 33,000, Dad. I know you. Continue. <laughs> That's true. 33 is my number. But... The, we're not doing these milestone shows at 20,000. The next milestone show we That's do... That's a lie, but continue. <laughs> the next milestone show we do will be 100,000. And guys, trust me, it's not going to take five years to get there. I'm telling you guys right now, by the end of 2026, I will be at 100K. 2026. The 10 lines, and remember this Put day. that in the air, I believe it. I, I, hit, I hit it three days after WrestleMania, which was not bad. I said WrestleMania... I said, I said the Raw after WrestleMania, so I did two days after, which wasn't too bad. I'm telling you, January, excuse me, December 31st, 2026, 
100K or bust. I promise. And, get, and guess what? What's that? That's not a prediction. <laughs> that. That's, that's a spoiler. A spoiler. Ooh, that's nice. Carter said to feed me, Dad. As you can see, guys, we got the 10 lots of 10K shirts on. Anthony, I do have one for you. Jasmine, do have one for you. These are only, you. sorry, guys, but these are only for the family. No disrespect. I want to do something for them. And um, you there will be new merch coming, but this is just for the family. No disrespect to anybody. Um, that's it. Anybody got anything to say before you get out of here? Oh, Lord. <laughs> Thank you for starting. What, what, what the hell? <laughs> he dropped the baby. Thank you. Thank you for starting the channel. It's a really good, uh, it's given me something to do with my life. So <laughs> love you. Love the channel. Love all you people. It's a great, it's a great thing to do. <laughs> Hello, baby. He always looks so like, what's going on here? <laughs> He's uh this this is white tea. White Tony. Oh gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Jasmine's laugh. This is this is his mother. I'm oh sure. <laughs> a white girl, run! What? <laughs> yeah, but to everyone love, watching, love I'm the unsung hero of this whole thing. No one knows, but it's okay. Jasmine understands. All right, I got to go and take care of my son. I love you, Dad. Honestly, all jokes aside, I'm proud of you. You're still doing this thing. Maybe I might start something and, 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 and have to overshadow you because you think I can't do this thing. You know who my dad is? You know who my dad is? Stop playing with me. <laughs> the voice <laughs> quiver. Get a DNA. Get, get a DNA test. Do you know, you know who my dad is? is? <laughs> no, but I love you. Jasmine, I'm proud of you too. Kira, keep doing what you're doing. When you're ready to... uh. Take over his company. Let me know, cause this should be the Kiralizing Wrestling Show. Succession. Yeah. Succession. And Bobby. And Bobby, get a job, bro. I love you. Big bucks, no bucks. How you big bucks with no goddamn credit? You don't got no credit. Get, get the life. No, Dad, I love you. I'm out of here. Uh, DJ TJ Half Pint Kid Tanner Lies and Tony Jr. Out. What's the hell? Who invited him? <laughs> Any words? I love this channel. Thank you guys for all the support and uh, big things to come. So stay tuned. Jasmine? Um, uh, I know everyone has something going on in their life, um, but you guys still make sure you come here every show. We appreciate it. Um, I'm not here as much. I try to pop in when I can because, you know, I have to work. Um, we appreciate you. Only up from here. Road to a million, not a hundred thousand, a million. Um, I love you, Dad. Bobby. Love you. Love you, Kira. Proud of you all. Can't wait to see you again. Mm -hmm. Um, and yeah, that is all. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys. For is Mikey Lee? Uh, we'll get him real quick. Let, let him sign us off. I want to thank you guys for coming out tonight. Um, it wasn't even wrestling related crazy. I will say one thing. Tony Khan is an idiot to show that footage. Oh, my all, God. All it did was make CM Punk look like, look like he saw everything was the truth. That he, yeah, yeah. I'm glad you said that. Because yeah. Twitter is in an uproar over CM Punk. It, it, it backfired. It literally it backfired. The opposite of what, of what he wanted. Hi, to Punk. Mm -hmm. Hi, Mikey. Love you. It made Tifa more powerful. That's what I feel. Wow. Yep. We're making good subscribers. Yes, so we are. Oh. <laughs> All right. For the entire tantalizing family, or call us tantalizing 10Ks, for Anthony, for Kyla and Nevaeh, for Frodo Baggins, for Savage, for ABJ, for Robert Franklin, who tried. <laughs> Looking to make it. <laughs> Um, a big one's Bobby, for producer Kira. I'm Tan Lies and Tony, and thank you, Dahlia. Mm -hmm. This is Magnificent Mikey. He's gonna take us out. Do it, buddy. Do it, we Whoa, whoa, whoa! Hug, hug, your, hug. hug your family members. Play every. Cause you're not promised tomorrow. Cause you're not promised tomorrow. Play every day. <laughs> and that's do it. We all do best, and that's. Stay tantalizing. 
what he said. What he said. What he said. <laughs> what I said. What he said. <laughs>